Hi, Mary from Cycle Maintenance Academy here. Most disc brake users have problems with squeaky brakes. So today we're going to have a look at why it happens and what to do about it. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. Okay, let's begin. Why do the disc brakes squeak? Contamination. This happens when brake pads and the disc rotors get in contact with oil or other lubricants. Once the pads absorb the contaminant, they lose their braking power and can develop a squealing noise. Incorrect bedding in. Bedding in is a process which transfers braking material from the pads onto the rotor to create a layer that improves braking power. Missing this procedure may glaze the pads or transfer uneven layer of the pad material that is burnt in the rotor surface. This may cause noise, vibration and low braking power. Worn pads. When disc brake pads have worn through all of their friction material, the metal backing of the pad rubs on the metal rotor. This causes a loud squeaking noise and will damage the rotor. So how do we stop disc brakes from squeaking? There are some theories on how to stop disc brakes from squealing. Cleaning disc rotors and pads using isopropyl alcohol or disc brake cleaner. Isopropyl alcohol is great for removing the grease and oil from the disc rotor without leaving behind any residue. However, if an uneven pad transfer layer has burnt into the rotor surface, then cleaning the disc will make no difference as the vibration has literally been baked into the rotor. Cleaning the pads will definitely remove contamination from the surface of the pads and make them look nicer, but it will not solve the noise and braking power issue as the lubricants soak into the pads rather than staying on the surface. Sanding the pads. Another way to get rid of contamination is to sand the layer of the brake pad material. This may only work if you spot the contamination right away and act fast, or if the pads have been glazed. Cooking the pads. In theory, heat can burn contaminants from the braking material. However, as the material is porous and it absorbs lubricants, it will be difficult to remove all of the oil from inside the pads, meaning that they will never work efficiently. Also, the heat may weaken the bond between the brake pad surface and backing plate. If you have enough commitment to try these options and your brakes still squeal, then replacing the pads and rotor will be the answer you were waiting for all along. For the price of the pads and rotor, it's worth using this option. When you remove old pads from a hydraulic disc brake, check to see if there are any oily marks on the back of the plate or corrosion on the caliper. This means there's a leak somewhere in the brake caliper and more likely the brake fluid will find its way again to reach the rotor and pads. If this is the case, then replacing the pads and rotor will not solve the problem. Don't forget to bed in the pads before you use new brake pads and rotors. To bed in the pads, first ride your bike on a flat surface at a moderate speed. Press the lever gently until you slow down to a walking speed. Use only one brake at a time. Repeat the process 20 times on each lever. Thank you for watching. Let us know in the comments below if you've managed to solve your squeaking brakes.